Hello students, welcome to the EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Jasjeet Kaur Narang from Khalsa College of Pharmacy, Khalsa University, Amritsar. Today we are going to discuss about a module Face Cosmetics under the paper Cosmetic. The objective of this module is to have an insight into number one the face powders number two the makeup which include liquid creams and mousse cake and stick number three the blemish covers also known as the concealers and number four a knowledge about the rouge and the blush introduction face powder is a skin cosmetic product which is used to give a very attractive and a glossy touch on the skin with avoidance of oil and also combats the shines. It varnishes any wrinkles and lines appearing on the skin besides decreasing the stain that otherwise appears on the skin. It also increases the transparency of the skin. For decades, the face powders have been essential products of the cosmetic industry and both men and women have given an equal importance to them. From a very simple manufacture, to many modifications in the method of their preparation, face powders have seen many processing transitions. Face powders also contain deodorizing or fragrance agents that increase their acceptance among the customers. The main aim of a face powder is to disguise the minor and the discolorations of the face which is seen through a naked eye. Improvements in the manufacturing of the face powders are done to make powders that complement the skin color by imparting a velvet-like finish. The degree of opacity varying from the opaque finish to an almost transparent finish which has its own inherent shine. Irrespective of the powder finish, all the face powders should possess sufficient lasting property. That is, it should adhere to the skin, otherwise it needs to be reapplied frequently. Nowadays, face powders have become a very popular cosmetic product in both the men and the women to improve the personal attractiveness. Men commonly use face powders for either covering up the need of shave temporarily or apply it after shave to improve their personality. The characteristics of face powders are number one, it should have very fine particle size and should be free from grittiness. Number two, it should be non irritable and non toxic. It should be physically as well as chemically compatible. It should adhere to the skin very easily and should also have excellent absorbing property. Besides this, it should be able to remove any oil which is present on the face. It should also be able to mask any minor disguise of the face. It should have the ability to be retained on the skin for longer periods of time. It should have sufficient slip to cover the maximum area of the face and it should have a velvety 
peach like finish to the skin. This slide discusses the raw materials which are used for the manufacture of face powders. First, we are adding ingredients like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, etc., which are used to provide a shine and to conceal the minor skin imperfections. Second, ingredients like calcium, magnesium are necessary to make the powder sufficiently adhesive so that it will remain on the skin. Number three are the ingredients such as kaolin, starch, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate which possess high moisture absorbing capacity without altering the appearance of the powder on the skin. Fourth are the ingredients like talc, starch, metallic soaps which are used to ease a smooth application of the face powder to the skin. Fifth ingredients include the binders which facilitate the uniform distribution of color and the perfume added throughout the bulk of the powder. The last ingredients are colors. The choice of the colors of a finished face powder is a matter of changing fashion. Classification of powders. The face powder can be classified into three basic types. First, light face powder. Second, medium face powder. And third, heavy face powder. This slide depicts an example of a light face powder. A typical formula contains zinc oxide 18% weight by weight, talc 67.52% weight by weight, zinc stearate 6% weight by weight, precipitated chalk 6% weight by weight, perfume 1% weight by weight, ochre 1.44% weight by weight, and brilliant pink lake color 0.04% weight by weight. Example of medium face powder is given in this slide. The ingredients include titanium dioxide in the concentration 4% weight by weight, talc in the concentration 64.52%, purified kaolin in the concentration 20% weight by weight, magnesium stearate in the concentration 3% weight by weight, magnesium carbonate in the concentration 6% weight by weight, Perfume in the concentration 1% weight by weight. Ochre in the concentration 1.44% weight by weight. And Brilliant Pink Lake color in the concentration 0.04% weight by weight. Example of Heavy Face Powder The ingredients of a heavy face powder include titanium dioxide, in the concentration 3% weight by weight, zinc oxide in the concentration 20% weight by weight, talc in the concentration 64.52% weight by weight, zinc stearate in the concentration 4% weight by weight, precipitated chalk in the concentration 6% weight by weight, Perfume in the concentration 7% weight by weight. Ochre in the concentration 1.44% weight by weight. And Brilliant Pink Lake color in the concentration 0.04% weight by weight. The method of preparation. The first method includes the first step 
includes of this method that the perfume is mixed with a part of the magnesium carbonate or a chalk in a suitable vessel. The mixture is rubbed through a hand sieve with a stiff bristle brush until the perfume is uniformly distributed. The color is then mixed in the same way with the rest of the magnesium carbonate or the chalk. Mixing is continued until a portion rubbed on a white paper or a skin shows no color flecks. The rest of the raw materials are weighed and put into a mixer. Perfume is added and the color base is mixed until uniform. The sample is then taken and rubbed on the white paper. It should not show any color flecks on the paper. Mixing is continued till it is completely matched and mixed without any line of demarcation. Finally, the powder is sifted to through sieve number 160 and finally filled in a container. Method of preparation. This slide depicts the second method of preparation. In this method, the whole method is divided into two operations. The first part involves the preparation of a white powder base which is perfumed and stored in tight bins to age and to mellow the perfume. During this time, the perfume permeates through each particle of the base material. In the second part of the operation, the colored base is prepared and is stored. This slide discusses about the compact face powders. A compact powder is a powder which has been compacted into a cake, properly packed in a suitable container along with the powder puff for its easy application on the face. The advantage of a compact powder is that a large bulk of the powder is reduced by compression into a cake form. The characteristics of a compact face powder are more or less the same as in the case of a face powder. That is, all the requirements like slip, adhesion, covering powder, color and odor are same. This slide depicts the characteristics of a compact face powder. Firstly, the compact face powder should come off easily with a moistened applicator or a sponge as an emulsion or by some other media. Number two, it should be applied on the skin uniformly. Number three, the films formed on the skin should not come off through rapid drying. It should stay on the skin during the whole day. Number four, it should repel the moisture caused by precipitation. And lastly, it should be readily removed by washing with soap and water. A typical formulation of a compact face powder is given in this slide. The formulation consists of gum tragacanth mucilage 2% in the concentration 20% weight by weight. The second ingredient is quince seed mucilage 
2%, which is present in the concentration 10% weight by weight. Gelatin mucilage is the third ingredient present in the formulation in the concentration 10% weight by weight. Rosin tincture is present in the formulation in the concentration 1% weight by weight. Purified water is present in the concentration 58.8% weight by weight. Methyl para hydroxybenzoate is present in the concentration 0.2% weight by weight. Ochre is present in the concentration 1.44% weight by weight. Last ingredient is brilliant pink lake, which is present in the concentration 0.04% weight by weight. The method of preparation of compact powder includes the following steps. In the first step, all the ingredients of the formula are mixed and run through a pulverizer or a ball mill. The powder is mixed with a sufficient quantity of the binding solution to make a damp mass. And then the mass is passed through a proper sieve to form the granules. The granules are then further dried completely in an oven and then the dried granules are again compressed to form a cake. The basic materials required to manufacture a compact powder are also the same as those of the face powders. That is, they include kaolin, colloidal clay, bentonite, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, precipitated chalk, magnesium carbonate and stearates of zinc, magnesium and aluminium. The pigments, lakes and other DNC colors are also added. This slide discusses the cake makeup powders. Cake makeup powders are another type of face powders. The materials used for cake makeup are just like those as in face powders. Example, talc, kaolin, chalk, colloidal clay, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. These materials are in addition to the light or heavy mineral oils vegetable oils, pigments, perfumes, water, humectants like glycerol and glycols, binding and emulsifying agents. There are mainly three methods of compression for the preparation of cake makeup powders. These methods are Number one, wet compression. Number two, dry compression. And number three, wet casting method. Makeup preparation. This slide is giving information on the liquids and the cream powders. Liquid and cream powders are also called night whites and are used for evening wear to offset the glare of the electrical lights. These preparations are applied to the face, neck as well as the arms. Because of their high opacity, they serve to cover the color of the skin exposed in the evening. The formula for a typical liquid and cream preparation is given with the method of preparation. 
the contents of a liquid powder are colloidal clay in the concentration 18% weight by weight, titanium dioxide in the concentration 2% weight by weight, glycerin in the concentration 8% weight by weight, water in the concentration 71.5% weight by weight, and perfume in the concentration 0.5% weight by weight. For making a liquid powder, all the powder ingredients are first mixed in a powder mixer. The liquid ingredients are blended in a suitable vessel which is preferably equipped with a mechanical agitator. In the third step, the powders are added to the blended liquids slowly with the agitator. Number four, the fourth step involves that after the addition of all the powders, the mixture is stirred for about half an hour. After half an hour, the finished liquid powder is then filled in suitable containers. The continuous agitation is required during the filling operation to restrict the settling of solids. This slide depicts the formula for a liquid and a cream preparation. The cream powder has the following ingredients glyceryl, glyceryl monosterate in the concentration 10% weight by weight, heavy mineral oil in the concentration 5% weight by weight, glycerin in the concentration 2% weight by weight, spermacity in the concentration 5% weight by weight. Stearic acid in the concentration 2% weight by weight. Caustic potash in the concentration 1% weight by weight. Water in the concentration 48.5% weight by weight. Perfume in the concentration 0.4% weight by weight. Titanium dioxide in the concentration 7% weight by weight. And talc in the concentration. 20% weight by weight. The method of preparation of cream powders can be divided into a number of steps. In the first step, the caustic potash is dissolved in water and all the other ingredients are then added except the perfume. The mixture is heated to boil with a constant stirring until all the waxy materials are melted and form a homogeneous mass. After this, the heating is stopped, but stirring is continued till the mass is cooled. After this step, the perfume is added and the final mass is passed through a roller mill to obtain a uniform product. This slide depicts the composition of a cosmetic stocking. A typical cosmetic stocking has a color, a little wetting agent for even deposition of the color, alcohol for rapid drying, colloidal clay Example, bentonite is added to keep the pigments in a suspended form for a longer period of time. A little amount of gum is also added to make the powder adhere firmly to the skin surface. Besides this, glycerine, sorbitol, propylene glycol, are also added for
for providing a emollient effect on the skin. Talc is another ingredient which is added to provide luster to the mixture, permitting a better simulation of the silk texture. The formula of a cosmetic stocking includes precipitated chalk in the concentration 10% weight by weight, titanium dioxide in the concentration 3% weight by weight, talc in the concentration 5% weight by weight, alcohol in the concentration 8% weight by weight, bentonite in the concentration 2% weight by weight, methyl cellulose in the concentration 0.5% weight by weight, wetting agent in the concentration 0.5% weight by weight, glycerin in the concentration 3% weight by weight, water in the concentration 68% weight by weight, and dyes and pigments are added in a sufficient quantity. The method of preparation of cosmetic stocking is as follows. First, all the powder ingredients are mixed except the dye in a powder mixer. Second, all the liquid ingredients are mixed in a separate vessel in which it is feasible to fit a mechanical stirrer. In the third step, the dye is dissolved in a liquid mixture and the powder is added in parts with the help of a stirrer. When all the powder mixture has been added, continuous stirring is done for at least half an hour for getting a homogeneous product. Moss. The word hair moss is a hair styling product applied to the hair for extra volume and shine. The hair moss adds volume to the hair and often provides both conditioning as well as hold without any clumps or build up. The term moss originates from a French term meaning foam. It is often dispensed in an aerosol foam spray or in a cream form. It is a hair styling product which works by using synthetic resins to coat the hair and assist the hair in taking shape. The formula of a typical mose has the following ingredients. PVP K30 in the concentration 4% weight by weight. Shellac de-waxed in the concentration 0.4% weight by weight. Benzyl alcohol in the concentration 0.1% weight by weight. Perfume oil in the concentration 0.2% weight by weight. Ethyl alcohol anhydrous in the concentration 95.3% weight by weight. The above concentrate formed comprises 40% of the total formulation and the rest 60% of the formulation is formed by addition of propellants 12 by 11 in the ratio 50 is to 50. The D-Vax shellac has better stability than the chemically bleached shellac and also possesses a low moisture content thereby increasing its utility in the formulation. Cake Powder Rouge. Powder Rouge have been more popular than the liquid form since the mid-1980s. 
they are generally presented in a compressed form as compacts. They differ from the ordinary compact powders by higher pigment levels. The ideal characteristics of rouge include number one, when applied with a dry brush, it should be smooth and should spread evenly. It should possess good covering and blending properties. In the compact, it must not break or be brittle in a reasonable drop test. The pigments must be evenly distributed and pressing must be homogeneous. The various raw materials used in the powder rouge are number one, a high proportion of the basic powder, usually the lake, number two, organic and inorganic pigments milled with titanium dioxide as extender, number three, a binder which can be made from the following individual ingredients or from their combination. The ingredients include rice starch, esters of stearic acid, mineral oil, castor oil, lanolin alcohol, etc. The fourth and the last ingredient of a powder rouge are the preservatives and the perfumes. This slide depicts a typical formula for a powder rouge. Stick. The important criteria to choose the lipsticks is their color shades. Some people like natural color lipsticks just to give a natural shining to the lips, whereas others may like bright colors. The raw materials used to prepare the lipsticks include the fats, oils, waxes, dyes, perfume oils and some other additives which provide the special properties. Various fats, oils and waxes are used which include castor oil, Butyl stearate, undisilic acid, steryl alcohol, oleyl alcohol, coca butter, beeswax, isocarite, carnauba wax, spermacity, cetyl alcohol, mineral oil, petrolatum, paraffins, glyceryl monosterate, etc. The good qualities of a lipstick are it should be non-toxic, non-irritating and free from gritty particles. Secondly, it should be easy to apply on the lips and also to remove. Number three, it should have a good and shiny appearance. Number four, it should be firm physically and should not be broken during application. Lastly, it should have good spreadability and the color must remain for a longer period of time. Finish covers or concealers. A concealer is also a very important cosmetic. It is used to cover or hide the minor blemishes which appear on the skin. Besides covering any dark spots, aging signs, pimples and white pores. It is just like a foundation but has more thickness and is used to cover different pigments by blending the imperfections into the surrounding skin tone. It is normally applied to the face after application of a primer and a foundation. Both the concealers and the foundation are typically used to make a skin appear more uniform in color. 
these two type of cosmetics differ in that concealers tend to be more heavily pigmented though they are available in a wide range of opacity as compared to the foundation concealers are also applied on restricted areas concealers can either be liquid or solid a concealer can be used either alone or with foundations it is used to cover serious skin discolorations such as birthmarks scars and vitiligo a concealer is available in a variety of shades from the lightest to the deepest when picking a concealer people tend to choose one or two shades lighter than their skin tone to better hide their blemishes and dark circles under the eye some colors are intended to look like a natural skin tone while others are meant to contrast with a particular type of blemish rouge and blushers rouge blushers and highlighters are colored preparations which are generally applied to the cheeks and are either liquid or cream or powder mixtures the skin color can be obtained either by water soluble inorganic or organic pigments usually the lakes or by water soluble organic colors in aqueous products these are very important preparations of a makeup box rouge are specifically applied on the cheeks for enhancing the entire look of the face they are available in various forms like base creams and dry solids this slide gives the formula for a paste rouge as well as the method of preparation while preparing a paste rouge all the ingredients given above are taken the waxes are melted and the other fatty materials are mixed and milled colors and perfumes are added and milled to get a homogeneous product the formula for making vanishing cream like rouge as well as the procedure are given here while preparing a vanishing cream type rouge the above ingredients are taken the stearic acid which is triple pressed and the steril alcohol are melted in a beaker other ingredients are taken except the perfume in a separate beaker heating is done up to 70 degree centigrade and the hot aqueous solution is added to the melted fat with a constant stirring perfume is added to the cream when it attains a temperature nearly 45 degree centigrade and mixed gently so students let us summarize what we have learned in this module face powder is a skin cosmetic product which is used to give a attractive touch on the skin to avoid the oil and to combat shines and also to give a glossing touch on the skin these are mainly of three types the light the medium and the heavy face powders a compact powder is a face powder which has been compacted into a cake properly packed in a suitable container along with a powder puff for its application on the face the advantage of a compact powder is that large bulk of the powder is reduced by compression into a cake form liquid and cream powders also called night whites are used for evening wear to offset the glare of the electrical lights these preparations are applied to the face neck as well as the arms because of their high opacity they serve to color 
cover the color of the skin exposed in the evening. Powder rouges have been more popular than the liquid form since the mid 1980s. They are gently presented in a compressed form as compacts. They differ from the ordinary compact powders by their higher levels of pigments. Lipsticks can also increase the elegance of a woman's face. Face powders, compact face powders, liquid and cream powders are generally used to cover the naked blemishes on the face. A concealer or a color corrector is a type of a cosmetic that is used to mask the dark circles, age spots, large pores and other small blemishes visible on the skin. Rouge, blushes and highlighters are color preparations which are generally applied to the cheeks and are, can be either liquid or cream or powder mixtures. Thank you.